Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up the Firebase live chat in WPLMS version 4. So here I have a WPLMS website and if I go to the dashboard, the WordPress dashboard and in the YBP settings, you will see a Firebase project. Here we are going to set up the Firebase config. Now if you're using the same project for the uh, social login, then you can use the same Firebase config. I would recommend you to copy the Firebase configuration again and paste it here after uh, configuring the live chat. So the live chat uses the Firebase real-time database. So you have to go to the firebase.com and here we can go to the console. So if you have already configured a project, then you can use that. Here I'm going to use a new project. And here you need to enable the real-time database, which is, so, so you might see some prompt to enable the real-time database. When you enable the real-time database, you can select any option to for the default rules. The rules that we need for the live chat are these, which is re dot read, auth, not equals to null and write not equals to null which means we want only the firebase authenticated users to to read and write on the chat and in the authentication go to the sign in method and make sure you have the email password enabled so we're going to simply copy the project settings now so important thing to note is that we do not have to copy the entire JavaScript. We just have to copy the point from starting bracket to the ending bracket and not include the semicolon as well. So we select this and copy and paste this and we save this here. Now, if you do not want live chat modules on the front end, then you can simply select this and disable the live chat. So now if we log out and log in. And it's going to log us in and back office and when we check the members screen and here we can see that we have the live chat enabled and if you check the firebase console you'll see that we have the users the real-time database you have the users then you have the user ID and the last active timestamp and the online status as one and if you start new chat if you add a new note a note is added and here if you check you'll see that we have notes then we have the user id and a note has been added similarly we record thanks for the notification for the live chat as well and here you can add message and on the firebase real-time database you can map the how the messages are being tracked and how the users are being tracked so if we log in from a student account if we log in from another account and see how the live, live chat works so this is the one account so here I have logged in as student and when we check check the firebase here you can see that we have a new entry and the status is one and if you check the authentication section you will see that we have a new entry which is student dot student and this user is now logged in to firebase as well and here you can search for students search for users who are online so here we can see that we have the 
student which appears as online and we can click on plus so a notification appears to accept or reject the chat so here we have the notification if you miss the real time notification you can go to the notification section and here we can see that we have the live chat uh, invitation and the student accepts it and now here you can see the live chat works so here the student has sent a message and in this screen you can see that we have the live chat working and on the right is the student so these two users are chatting and if you check the real-time database you can see that we have the chats being recorded the last activity being updated and and the chat is also recording these messages and the notifications are also being recorded and the status uh, is there to show if the notification has been read or not so that's it from WPLMS Tutorials. Thanks for watching.